welcome to the latest video. Today I will be creating something a little bit different in my art journal. I won't be doing so many layers of paint or anything like that and I will be putting these as under layers onto my page. These are all papers that I dyed with coffee when I was a teenager. So these go way back. This is another lovely thing about art journaling. You can really build or all these old things in it and they're all part of your history and then they will be sealed onto these pages and stay with me forever so i will start by gluing these on and then we can see what happens next i'll be using matte medium today for gluing but any glue will do For this exercise, I'm going to use some black acrylic ink. I've poured some in my palette and I'm going to use some affirmations. So I really want to write with these using big loose lettering on the page with a brush. And I will be using these affirmations. If you would like to have these affirmations, they're in a PDF and they are a part of my free workshop. It is a five day course called Art Journaling Joy. And this PDF comes with the course. So you can sign up totally free if you go to my bio or check out the caption in the video, you will see a link where you can sign up to my weekly inspirational mailing list. And then you will also get access to the workshop. So you can find the PDF there and then you can use these for your art journaling. These are really lovely and it gives me so much inspiration to look at these if I'm trying to tap into a certain feeling, for example, before of my session. I can just have a look at these and think about what feels, what I feel most connected to in the moment. So I will be using these sentences so I don't have to make anything up just now and I will just write them on the paper. I will keep this here close by so that I can see it and then I will start lettering. This is just an idea that I had. I don't know why, but I really felt like creating some big lush lettering with some ink. So here we go. It doesn't have to be beautiful. I just really want to experiment with the looseness of it. As you can see, I'm holding on to this very lightly and I'm just going to let the letters appear. So you can absolutely do this even if you can't do beautiful letters. This is not about looking, making gorgeous looking, beautiful writing on the page. This is just about tapping into these affirmations. If you want to make it super loose, you could use your non-dominant hand and try that.
You can just take your time and keep writing. You could use different colored inks. You could use actual inks. I'm using acrylic inks, but you could use anything or either watercolors or even acrylic paint. If you water that down and get it quite nice and loose, you could definitely use that too. You could put some lovely background music as well and just feel and just really feel the affirmations as you're writing them down on the page. That was so lovely to make. I would love to keep going. I just can't believe how powerful affirmations are. I'm sure everyone knows that, but still, it just amazes me every single time that I do something like this. I really hope you get a chance to try that out, even if you don't do anything else. Just writing down these sentences is just incredibly calming. I can see some of the letters have spread a bit because the glue was still wet underneath the paper so i'm now curious about doing a very light spray perhaps i'll flick some water on the page rather than spray it with my spray bottle because that will make the ink spread a tiny bit if it's not totally dried i might have to leave this for a second and then i can come back to it and see how it spread this kind of looks like raindrops on the page now and i really love it this might also leave these type of drying marks on the paper, so that could look quite nice. As you might know, I really love making splatter, so I won't be stopping here. I'll add a tiny bit of this, because I think that would look really lovely on the page. Put some water on my brush, and then I'll mix the ink with the water to make it a bit more runny. And here we go. I'll do a tiny splatter. I'm going to try my best not to go too wild. All right. I'll leave it there. Now I'll let this dry and then we'll come back and see what we do next. Everything is now dry. My little splatter is dried really nicely and I've got some more watermarks on the page. I'm really liking this really old look of the page. It looks like an old journal from a long, long time ago. And in a way it is. It looks like an old journal that's been found somewhere and it's a little bit water damaged and next I feel like creating a collage on top of this. I was looking at different pieces that I have and I was really connecting to these ones today. No particular reason. I just found this really lovely image from a magazine and I cut it out and I thought I could do something like this. But often when I start making my collage, it does change a bit as I make it. So we'll see how it is in the end. I'm just really wanting to keep it super simple. And I like this old image. It's from a magazine from the 90s. So I perhaps I will start this and then we'll just see what happens next.
Here is the final creation. I made the outlines a little bit thicker and that's where I stopped. I feel like again, I could keep going and going, but I'm going to leave it here. If I hadn't already splattered the pink ink, I might've just created a glaze on the background here on both sides with something like this. This will make the pages look really nice and old and unify the background. But I quite like the way it is now, so I'm going to leave it there. But this is just to show that there are absolutely endless possibilities. So you could keep going and going until either the energy has run out or you feel like you've done enough and you want to move on to the next page. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to share your work with like-minded creatives, do join my online communities. The links are in the caption. Otherwise, I'll see you next week and happy creating.